I felt I was uh, in a position where a lot of people were uh, learning from me, depending on me, um, and I felt almost like an imposter, like I had nothing left to actually give. And so um, I needed to put myself in an environment where I was uh, the dumbest person in the room. I started to, to be very close to the CFO, to the VP of strategy, to all these people who are very knowledgeable in business, and I felt this gap. So I wanted to fill this gap. Then the second one was really about leadership. Um, in this type of organization, you have to learn how to lead without authority. And I needed to understand what type of leader I want to be, what type of leader I want to grow, and what type of leader the company need. My objectives when I thought about doing the, the Gemba were to strengthen my financial skills. I also wanted to improve as a leader, so improve my soft skills. And I was also looking for network. I'm third generation of a family-owned company, and I had different challenges. I needed specific type of skills, financial skills, to judge certain investments or to understand it or get the basics. But then as a part of the future leadership team of the family-owned company, understanding organizational behavior, how a company is structured. And the third one was uh, the network, the kind of safe environment to learn and to, uh, to explore what my interests are and explore together with my classmates on possibilities in the future. There was a career transition that was planning at that point in time, moving from uh, operational role the, the company was working for two more uh, general management and commercial roles, so this was a key target for me. Uh, the idea was to complement my uh, engineering background with uh, business knowledge, ideally from a school with uh, top class uh, research and teaching. I really wanted to have a, a foundation in uh, finance and accounting marketing uh, and everything that is helpful to the business. So um, I had been working as an entrepreneur and as a VC for a number of years and still I was missing some of the blocks. I came here true out of frustration but what I got much more and I didn't bargain for is the personal growth. I became firstly and foremost better person. I became much clearer thinker. Two years after I graduated in Seattle, I was uh, assigned to a role as executive manager in a very technical profession, uh, in a very uh, established safety critical environment. But more of it, I am accepted as a person. I am influential at work. I am listened to. I had to redefine my leadership and uplift the style I operate in the organization. Um, it gave me a holistic approach to see things from a really broader level. And I was able to um, get a lot of confidence out of this program from the support of the school and from my alumni. And it has really um, transformed the way I lead the team, as well as um, managing all those different difficult conversations in the organization. I become a different leader, and I also be recognized as a leader in my company. And then I stay in the company. I deliver, I deliver more than expected. So they starting to see the strong value of executive MBA. I became the first, I was a case. And then there are three people who's doing it. 